Welcome back to our Fantasy Card 2023 Championship as we stay in California for the Grand Prix of Long Beach, round 2 of a 10 round championship. After race 1 in Fontana went well in the first sit but went south from everything that followed, we're determined to take Fernando Alonso to his first card points finish here today in one of the highlight races of the season that some describe as the Monaco of the West. The starting grid is on your screen right now and before I hand over to the live recording me, quick apologies because there is a bit of some weird sound whenever my car ran over the bumpy parts of Long Beach as those bumps made my steering wheel uh, go crazy affecting my desk which the mic was fitted on ultimately causing the metal it was fitted on to create some vibrations and noise. I hope it's not too annoying for you and I'll fit the mic to something else next time so that should fix it. But now let's head track side. Well and here we are then now looking at our strategy and uh, setup. We'll start with the uh, slicks. And we'll put, well, these, the, what it says here, these 10 laps, that is absolutely not right what my experience was from practicing beforehand, uh, because this was bar barely enough for, uh, for 8 laps, so I think if 19 liters are enough for 8 laps, we should rather be... around here to make it to the halfway point. It says 33 laps now, but really in in preparing for this race, this approximation was far too low. So um, yeah, let, let's rather do it like this. We have um, 42 laps to do. And if we can extend, we can extend. This is of course never a problem. Um, the slick option is Good. I think this one should take us uh, through half halfway and and maybe even more if you don't uh, mess up with the um, braking and put some. Oh hell no. That's a pretty poor. Yeah, this one is better. I think fuel and tires. We want to add fuel. For now, let's also say just in case. Let's just put that. Amount of fuel in, change tires and slicks because, well, there is no obligation to use two different tire sets because, as of recording this, this is not yet an option um, to put in to Automobilista 2. So, I think with that, we're ready to start this race. Okay. Rolling towards the finish line, awaiting the start. Rinus VK overtook us prematurely. Not really fair. We should have started in P7. We actually started in P8. And now there is Kyle Kirkwood already alongside us, going towards turn one. Prefer to break a bit earlier and then pick up the pieces. Because this part here, this is, oh my god, three wide through the fountain. And somehow it worked. Well, not so much for us. There is Daniel Ricciardo. Where has he come from? Fantastic start by the Australian in his second race. So we make a little bit of contact with him. No damage, luckily. Just a very slight touch there. Lucky to get away with it. Oh, wow. Down in P9 already. Not, not, not good. That ain't good. Pit window open. We don't care right now as we are rather looking at a longer stint. By our strategy. Uh, past Ricardo we go there. I think this is way too early for any risky moves into the final hairpin. Oh, but that actually worked. Side by side with Herta getting the better exit. And up into P7 again, right where we, well, were supposed to start. Renus VK, that little cheating guy, he's already up into P5. Interesting. But at least we got our P7 back. Uh, let's see what we can do from here. Oh, there goes Herta. Oh, 
I've managed to stay ahead and didn't even use push to pass, which by the way we have available in non-oval races or everyone has available to use uh, for a certain amount of seconds throughout the race. Uh, it is indicated by that little blue battery on the bottom right, right where the speedometer is, so you can see that. Oh, bit of a lock up. That's not good. Oh, look at our front right. This doesn't look good. Oh, there's a battle between Ericsson and Grosjean, I think I had. Interesting. Ericsson against Grosjean on the street track. Where have I seen that before? Or rather, where have I not seen that before? Oh, someone is having an issue. They're super, super slow. Why are they so slow? Interesting, interesting. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't take any unnecessary risks. Come on. Keep calm. Our opportunity will come. No need to risk everything. Just entering lap 10. I wonder still why they are so slow or why they were so slow for a bit because now they don't seem too slow anymore. Oh. And I've never driven in, uh, when practicing with a car that was that heavy on fuel. This is also a bit of an issue because I feel so much more slow and uncomfortable than I did when preparing for this race. So, um, yeah, all not so ideal. And then, I mean, while, while Long Beach is still one of the the best or more entertaining street circuits in the world. Come on! Oh, this is a huge opportunity, come on, surely if we cannot make it work this time we will never make it work, come on! Round the outside of Rossi, side by side, we approach turn one, who's later on the brakes? We are! Can we get- do we get the corner done? Yes, we do! Ah! Just as I was saying or trying to say, well Long Beach also not the easiest track to overtake on. Well, there we go. Taking advantage of Rossi, who was struggling through that last sector a bit. We're up into P6. Just behind Rinus VK now. Oh, is this an opportunity? Unusual spot to try something and we're not too confident into this corner, so I don't think this will work. Yeah, also not confident enough to to try the switch back. No! Oh, damn. Oh, we got a little too eager there. We have massive damage to our car. And this is a big issue. This is a big, big issue. Okay. Damn. Okay, into the pits we go, and now it's a recovery drive. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Big moment into that corner. We got a little too, too overconfident, but it's still okay. We will have a super, super heavy car. And I hope we can still do it on one stop. No, we can't because I put... Softs on. Oh no, I put softs on. This is gonna be a very, very lengthy pit stop. David Malukas also in the pit lane, so at least we should theoretically be able to stay ahead of him. Okay. Apparently he wants to stop at the same time as we do. David Malukas in and out already. Okay, now this is very, very interesting because that means that we might see two stops. So this is not over yet. Come on, we can't mess two races in a row up for 
for Fernando. Damn. And I think we even got lapped. Did we? We did. Fantastic. Oh, we just lost a lap. Oh, now we're getting blue flags. And we won't make it to the end with the amount of fuel we have right now. That's bad. That's really, really bad now. Come on. Unlap ourselves against Ricardo. Next car up at is Colton Hurt. At least we're not too too far behind. We're actually somewhere where we're actually running ahead of that unscheduled pit stop. So this is this is another flash of hope. And the car feels much better now, by the way, on fresh rubber. Even if it's very, very heavy again. Come on. Herta, you're damn slow. Super slow, Colton. And it was this corner. Of course it was this corner. Why would it be any other corner? Should we take a risk here? Should we take a risk? No, we don't. i rather if we don't take a risk here. Okay, another car in the pits. Colton Herta. He's third. We're just behind the man in third. This is very good news. Come on. Damn. Colton, go into the flipping pits, mate. Damn, why are you so damn slow? We're losing so much time. I, I reckon I could go one, two seconds faster than him right now. Okay, we've got to do something now. This is the best racing we had so far in this race. And it's not even for position. There you go, Colton. That's what you get for holding me up. <laughs> Did I put him in the wall there? Oh, damn. Okay, Dixon in as well for his pit stop. Grosjean are leading this race. They're all on... They might all be on a two-stop. This is very, very good news indeed. Oh, look at that. There is a car that we could actually be racing... This is Grosjean, and right ahead of him is Christian Lungard. <laughs> Christian Lungard, the winner from the opening race, he is now second to last. Um, and he's now also lapped down. No, he's fighting to stay on the lead lap. Look at that. I don't know what Grosjean is doing. He could pit right now because. Uh, he is. He's definitely on a one stop. So there's a split in strategy for some of those guys. Oh, we are alongside Grosjean trying to get back on the lead lap. Oh, what are these two doing, guys? What even is that? What even is that? Come on! This is our opportunity against Lundgaard! This is actually full position! Come on! We're not last anymore! We are... Oh! Lundgaard! Oh, he hit Grosjean there! Oh, Lundgaard made contact with the race leader! Come on, Grosjean, don't you want to go into the pits now? How is he making this work anyway? Okay, up into P29. Oh, another one. 
Oh, I barely believe this. P28. Oh, this is a fantastic run. Come on. I'm back onto the lead lap. We go. Fantastic. Grosjean just go into the pits, mate. No business still being out here. Okay, we're now pretty close to, to Graham Rahal. In his Rahal Letterman Lanigan Toyota, what a name. Ah, oh, but this is unfortunately not enough. Oh, this is bad. We have, we have 44 seconds behind the race leaders. Oh, hello, this is not actually too bad. I didn't even use push to pass because I thought we were too far away. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Getting very close to the rear wing of, of him. Hmm, very... Come on, might this be an opportunity? No, never, never, never. Ah. Well, we're uh, so quick, making so good progress, but now... Yeah, of course, we have reached the back of the grid again, so... The back of the pack, I mean, sorry, but... That means lots of slow cars as well. As happy as we might be to finally see cars again. Okay, this is it. This surely is it, yeah, easily. A bit of push to pass used. And that is an easy pass on Ray Hall. Let's just hope he doesn't try anything stupid into turn one. He does not. And therefore, we move up into P26. Now remember, it's the top 12 that score points. It is very unlikely, because I also think we might need to come in at the very end of this race for quick splash and dash. Which is not ideal. We should have crashed a few laps later at least. But the good news is that we might even stay on the lead lap in this last pit stop. Okay, what are these two doing? Santino Ferrucci and Tony Kinnan. Disappointing season so far for Tony Kinnan, but who are we to judge? We've thrown a fantastic result away in Fontana. And we've thrown a fantastic result as way here in Long Beach as well. California so far has not been nice to us. We might we might almost be happy to leave it when we go to Virginia for the next race. To a track I'm not really familiar with. So this might also be a bit of um, an interesting one. Come on, Santino, don't hold me up. A bit of contact. Luckily, we get away with it. I don't know what what are they doing out of this corner. It almost seems like they can't find the the throttle. They're all so slow out of that one. Canapino is the next car for P23. I will use a lot of push to pass now on the straight because I want to clear him here because that makes it a lot easier. Look at how much clear road is ahead of us if we clear Canapino, but he's really late on the brakes. Oh, damn. Why are you putting up a fight? Oh, that's a lot of push to pass also wasted now. Mmm, fantastic. Exactly what we wanted to do. Oh, hello! Come on. Agustin Calapino, will you please stop? I can't believe it. Ha <laughs> ha, what a battle! This is great fun, but I really don't want to have that right now. 
Okay, we're past. Finally. Don't you dare! Get away from me! <laughs> he's still there. He is still there. Now. Ah. <sighs> okay, that was a tough one. That cost us three seconds. <laughs> three seconds slower than our previous best. Well, well, well. David Malukas is in the pits. Indeed, there are people too stopping. This is... Finally, there is, there is still hope. There is still hope. People are too stopping. This is fantastic news. The best news we had. David Malukas, now remember, he was in the same lab as we were in. I think we might be able, if I do a bit of fuel saving, we might be able to go to the end. Our front left tire does not look ideal, but then again, it's only 10 more laps to go. Scott McLaughlin into the pits as well. People are too stopping. And that might even be... Okay, I'm, I'm considering... But Okay, well, I think the issue is... There is people that are also on one stop. I don't want to rule out the, the chance of a late safety car. Which is why I don't want... As I just lost my car there. Didn't even react to that. That's how emotionally unavailable this... Uh, um, race has made me emotionally numb is probably the better word because the other thing is something different um, but yeah where was I yeah I, I think there is an opportunity and I don't want to rule out the chance of a late pace car or safety car because that might really bring us back so I want to go as long as I can ideally without another pit stop if we continue the green flag running to the end this, however, is a mighty, mighty task. Because we can't lock up. If we lock up once, this is it for our front left, I think, definitely. Oh, and Felix Rosenquist, not you again! We met in Fontana. I didn't enjoy that meeting. And we're meeting here again. Felix, come on. What have you got in store for us now? A bit of early braking, okay. Leaving the door open. Don't mind me if I... Ah, oh, don't mind if I do. I'll... Risky, 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 but it worked. Whew, okay. Oh no, I'm in the wrong gear. I'm in second. Damn. Oh no, there he is. He's sensing a chance into turn one. I can feel it. I can feel it. He can feel it. I messed up. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. Spin it around. Come on, quickly. There we go. Oh, losing lots. Yeah, this is it for points. This is it. And you know what, this is the issue with the street track. We had we had a very, very good race. A super good race. But it is two little moments that completely messed it up for us. But there we go, Christian Lundgaard! Ah, oh, he's coming back. I want to keep my foot in there. Okay, not not really clean, but um, whoops. I'm not even going to comment on that one. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Tony Kanan. 
past him we go. No, he's still there. Side by side, into the hairpin. Ah! Oh! Contact! Damn. I think I squeezed Kanan there. Oh. And now... Now I'm starting to drive dirty even without actually wanting to do that. Past Ferrucci we go. I don't know how our front left is still working, but somehow it is, and it isn't even that bad. Oh, Canapino again, huh? <laughs> I thought we had him, and this is exactly the spot where we had him the first time. This time, a lot more straightforward, this one. Okay, now it's time to really get into some fuel saving. Oh, hello, look at where we have arrived again. Going into the final lap. Our front left hanging on by a thread. But we are at the back of Felix Rosenquist once again. The car that is so impossible to pass. The cursed Hyundai. But the good news is, we have enough fuel to make it around the Long Beach Grand Prix circuit once more. And I think a lot of drivers are fuel saving, not least of which Felix Rosenquist, because he's super slow as well. Everyone's pretty slow in these final laps. I presume these are the ones that once stopped, like we did. Oh, and this is an opportunity! Come on, P20! Later on the brakes and past Rosenquist we go into the final few corners. Just one more to go. I'm starting to feel the front left, but, but despite the bad looks of it, it still felt... Alright. I only felt it through the fountain most of the time. Luckily there's not too many other corners where we're really able to feel it we finish in the top 20 in the end which is okay i think we have to be happy about that considering how uh how terrible it looked when we when we put it into the wall there ah uh, but what would have been possible we had the pace of the front runners once again we did that in fontana then we messed it up by um, yeah, missing the pit lane. We messed it up this time by hitting the wall. Already looking forward to how we, we mess this race up in uh, Virginia once again. Well, we'll see, but uh, for now I hand back to voiceover Robin, who will give you the final results and the standings. And Scott Dixon wins this race ahead of Renus Wieke and Roma Grosjean. Scott McLaughlin, our teammate, could not convert pole position into a good result, but at least he scores the first points for our Ford performance team. And these are the standings. Good news for us, as we are only 21st uh, with zero points. But that still means we are only 20 points behind the championship leaders because, well, Christian Lundgaard, winner in Fontana, did not score. Scott Dixon, the winner here, did not score in Fontana. So, uh, yeah, not too much lost for us. Um, so everything still to play for. Now, interesting in the uh, team standings, Junkos Racing has taken the lead 
of that championship with a fantastic result for both of their drivers in Long Beach and Ford has taken the lead in the Manufacturer Championship. And that has been it for the Grand Prix of Long Beach in our Fantasy Card 2023 season. The next race will be held at Virginia International Raceway, our first visit to a proper permanent road course. I hope to see you all there. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video and I hope to see you all the next time. Until then, goodbye.